Hello, welcome back. This is Jedi Dragoon Makes. I'm your host, Jennifer. I'm also known as Jedi Dragoon Online. And welcome to my podcast about knitting, crochet, and the fiber arts. And I am blinking a lot. I'm sorry about that. Um, um, today we're in the living room. Well, not really living room. We have two living rooms. This is the playroom. This is the corner where I crochet. Uh... And I just didn't feel like dragging everything to the table when I had it all right here. So, um, welcome back. Hi to all my new subscribers. Hi to all my old subscribers. Hi to Kathy and Sandy. And Kathy and Debbie. Sorry. She changed her name. So, and anybody else who I'm forgetting, hi to you guys also. I don't always keep track of names. So. Um, this is my podcast. This is how it goes, you know. So, what have I been working on? Well, you saw that, okay, you saw that I, um, had bought some yarn. Um, so, bought yarn, did a video on that, showed you guys it. So, I had some bingo going on this weekend, so I've worked with some of that. But first, my first finished object I'm wearing, let me take it off. I need to dye my hair too, but that's my personal preference. This is the Ross hat. Um, I believe this is Red Heart Unforgettable in the color. No, I don't think this is Unforget. I remember the color is Acapulca. But this is a Ross hat. I knit it on size 8 knitting needles. Um, you can find it on the website Smells Like Yarn. It's done by Ross. He used to have a YouTube channel, but now he just does uh, TikTok and Instagram. Um, but yeah. But this is his pattern. And ironically, we both knit the same hat. So he has a hat knit like this too. But yeah, I like this hat. Um, his instructions say knit it to six inches. I wanted it a little longer, so I did six and a half. So now it covers my ears good, as you can tell. So I finished that up because I had started and on the needles and I just was putting off doing it. So this hat is done. And I also, my next finished object, which I'll probably have to take the hat off and the sweatshirt off to show you, is I finished my Dahlia top. So, this is the Dahlia Top. The pattern's by Simmon Stitches. This is done in a Caron Crystal Cake in the color Twilight, I believe. Um, yeah, and... Let me see. Yeah, my stuff is right there, and I just bumped my little uh, stitch marker container. I don't know where the lid is, but... If anybody has kids, they understand what happens. And I don't even really need kids to blame. I couldn't do it myself. Okay. Hold my hat up. <laughs> I thought I was going to get rid of this, but I really like the colors. <laughs> All right. And probably would look better without a t-shirt under. I know it looks better without a t-shirt under it. If you're on my face, if you're in my Facebook group, I have a Facebook group. The link's in the description below. I post uh, pictures of the stuff I finish. Anybody else is welcome to post pictures of their finished objects. I don't have to be the only one. Just FYI. So this is the Dahlia Top. Let me... No. Let me scoot this back. I have a shoe in the way. Okay. I don't think that really helped. But yeah. This is the Dahlia Top. So... It fits really good. It's nice. It's soft. Actually, I think that angle's better. <laughs> but yeah, um, I used a size K. Well, actually, I started off with a size I or J crochet hook. And then I got my new crochet hooks. So I switched to size K. I think I have it. That's not it. Okay, I started using this one, which is the... Um, I forget which one this is, but I started using this one. The wood kept kind of catching a bit, so I ordered another, I ordered another one, which, for some reason I can't grab it. There it is. 
if you order resin hooks, don't order them all in the same color, no matter how much you love purple. Because <laughs> you can't find the one you want. So instead, I, I went and got a Furl's crochet hook and started using this. And this worked really well for me. So I used a 6.5 millimeter for the rest of it. I love this because I can actually wear some, not have to wear anything underneath. The holes are nice and tight. So yeah, I love this. It fits good. It's lightweight. It's not too heavy. Um, it's nice and soft. It's kind of sparkly. It's my colors. I'm going to take this off. Maybe because it's kind of cold here today and I want my sweatshirt and hat back on. <laughs> but yeah, I finished that up. Um, it's a uh, video tutorial, so there's no written pattern. You just, she shows you how to make it. And unlike the pattern, one of the changes I made was I put a point, because in her pattern, ooh, camera was blowing out. Because in her pattern, she had the back as flat and the point in the front, and I didn't like that. I'm, I, I'm sorry, I thought it looked kind of weird. Um, so I just went ahead and added a point in the back because I like that, and also kind of figured it'd help cover up my butt some. So um, I'm not so self-conscious about my front. I'm self-conscious about my butt. So I have to have my butt covered. <laughs> So, yeah, I added a point in the back. So, it has points in the front and back. Um, and I'm probably going to try to wear that Sunday. Um, but, yeah. Sorry about the camera movement also. I was trying to show you. It didn't really work that well. But, hey. And then on... Okay, that's a whip. So, we're doing finished objects. And my son tomorrow has a, uh, the elementary school is doing a historical wax museum. So the kids dress up in costumes and they are uh, supposed to give speeches and stuff. And they choose who they want. I think my oldest, when he did, he was Abraham Lincoln. And he needed a beard, so I had to crochet a beard. I think he is Abraham Lincoln. I can't remember who he was. No, I don't think it was Abraham. I don't know. But he needed a beard and do a costume and all that. So we did that. Um, now it's my middle kid's turn. And he chose to be George Washington. So that's on me yesterday going to Goodwill looking for a jacket and pants for him. And I had to make a wig. So I picked up some pom-poms. I was going to do that. And then I went and took my Jane a beanie. Uh, I didn't add the ribbing. I just made it like a bucket hat. And pulled some yarn out of my stash and made a little pon little ponytail. So this will be his George Washington hat uh, costume. Um, showed it to my husband, took a picture of him in it, and I got told it needed two more rows. I'm not, I told, I told my husband it's fine. So that is my son. So I made my son a uh, George Washington wig. And I was at Meyer yesterday and I found me some towels I liked. And I've been wanting to do some towel toppers because I have one up that says fall. It's been up for two years <laughs> and I wanted something different. And I found a towel I liked at uh, Meyer. And so I made me a towel topper. It says, Captain Cook, surrender your buns and... This is the part I crocheted on. I used Pamela's Odoring Crochet's towel topper pattern. It's a video tutorial. And yeah. I like it. It's different. <laughs> and most girls. Pretty flowers, pinks, and all that. Me, I choose a skull and crossbones and flames. And yeah. I like being me. <laughs> so. Those are my finished objects. Uh, this was just some Red Heart yarn that I had in my stash. Yeah, works in progress. I'm doing a lot of looking over here, not looking at you. I apologize. It's just one of those days. So on Saturday, I signed up for Fiber Hustle. They do Fiber Hustle Bingo. I think their next one is in June. Um, they do a Pride 
bingo. I probably won't be a part of that because reasons. I, I'm just not comfortable participating in it. Um, so, but I participated in Saturdays and I need something to keep my hands busy while I was doing it. And I started doing, it was supposed to be Sim and Stitch's, um, her poncho pattern, but I didn't want to look at the poncho. I'm all tangled up. I didn't want to look at her poncho what pattern video tutorial while I was on a Zoom call for bingo. So what I did was I got her how many stitches I was supposed to cast on, and I cast that on, and I figured I could figure it out from there. So I went off pattern a lot. And this is, what is going on here? I'm trying to talk to you guys and look up at the camera, but when you're trying to detangle something so you can show you guys, <sighs> I'm glad you guys don't mind me being me because <laughs> we would have real problems if not. So this is uh, my version of her Sim and Stitches poncho. So I started doing it. Uh, she was wearing it like this. I'll probably go once again with the points. So I changed, I chained her mount and then I did half double crochets and then I started doing my thing. And well, actually I started doing my thing after the chaining. So, <laughs> so this is done in Premier Yarns Dragon Fruit. And I think it, I, I know it's not working up like it would be knit, but I love how it's working up. And I think just little pops of yellow and green are really cool and all that and the white. So yeah. I'm using a size J crochet hook for this, I believe. I haven't worked on it since Saturday, so I can't remember which hook. Yeah, I was using it because it's the... Yeah. Oh, no, I was using a size I hook. <laughs> so, yeah, I was using this size hook. This is a 5.5 millimeter hook. It's my uh, furls one. So, I was using that on this. So, yeah, this is coming along good. I have plenty of this yarn to do this. So, I'll just keep working on this on and off when I feel like it. It might turn into my church crochet because I like how, but I also have a shawl I'm trying to get done and I would show you it, but I've only done like two rows, not even a row on it. So it's like pointless to show one row. <laughs> um, and the other, the other shawl I started was after I finished up my, um, my, um, summer breeze tank top uh was i started working on bag o days uh killer queen shawl because i figured i'd use up this is what i had left from my shawl so i figured i'd start the killer queen shawl and i have another skein of yarn so i'll just make a really big shawl and this is far i got this is her killer queen it's very easy it's like a two two row repeat which you guys know I love those kind of patterns where I can do the repeat and get memorized and just keep going. And so, yeah, I've been working on that. I'm using a size G crochet hook for this. Um, so, yeah, it, it's coming along good. It's going pretty quick. This is going to be huge because I got another ski of yarn around here somewhere that... Actually, nope, it's not down there. It's going to be added on to this and I'm going to just keep going with it. So, there's that. And I think that's all my works in progress, because all the uh, only other thing I did was um, my Stephen West shawlography. I finally got around to fixing it so I can start working on it again. Because the kids pulled the needles out of it. I got frustrated. I'm like, I'm not going to do this. So I deleted it off my row counter. <laughs> and then I was like, why did I do that? So I got it back. I got it figured out where I was. So now we can get back to working on it. And I also found my size for child goo knitting needles, which is making it a lot easier. So, yeah. Um, the only other thing I got is I did pick up some yarn for another summer breeze tank top at uh, Meyer because Meyer has uh, line brand Chobu for like $3.99 regular price. And I've been looking for this color because anytime I go looking for this color, they've only had one in stock. And it's this uh, 
magenta in the chobu so i got like three of these to make me another summer breeze tank top it's very soft and squishy <laughs> and this is 232 yards 3.5 ounces 100 grams it's lightweight three so i'll be turning that into a summer breeze tank top because i that's kind of like my favorite it's a tank top pattern and it looks good on me and i might try something a little different where i do a different increase in it instead of what she did but we'll see because i always screw up the one she does <laughs> so i'm going to try one of my own um yeah that's about it um the only interesting stuff i have coming up is well, the only interesting thing is is i finished watching moon knight so i loved it um so the real comic booky people didn't like it but you know i loved it i enjoyed it i thought it was really good um they need to make a second season because the way they ended it was like no i need more uh because they left out a bit of a cliffhanger of course and sunday me and my husband are going to go to dublin and we're going to go see dr strange multiverse of madness so i'm excited about that uh and i also have more yarn coming i am um, i'm still waiting for my premiere order to get here with the new premiere yarn that everybody is showing off i just gotta be patient and wait I'm trying not to wear any more yarn because I have spent way too much and don't need to. So, there's links in the description below for my Etsy shop, my Facebook group, my Instagram, and I think that's about it. Oh yeah, also uh, my mailing address for Happy Mail is also in the description. You don't have to send me anything. I just have it there if anybody wants you. But like I said, you don't have to. You are not obligated to. I just set it up in case. So, that's it. I'll talk to you guys next time. I don't know if I'll do another video this week. I might. It might be next week. I'm just going to do videos when I feel like them. Because if I try to schedule them, I don't want to do them. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.